Welcome, welcome to Celebrate Aging. I'm Vicki Marthaler, your hostess today, as we are here on the Ecumen Detroit Lakes campus. And specifically on the Ecumen campus, we are in the chapel. Yes, we have a chapel here and it's located in Emmanuel's nursing home. So that's, I'm standing, I'm also standing in front of three windows that have some drawings on them and we're gonna visit a little bit about these drawings as we'd like to invite you to be a part of the celebrating uh, that goes on here every day as we celebrate aging. Ecumen is our, is our new name and I know that in the community people have, are kind of struggling with it and trying to remember it and going like, uh, it's kind of, I don't, what does it mean again? <laughs> And so I'd like to just take a few minutes too to lift up this new name of Ecumen Detroit Lakes because we are part of a bigger family, the Ecumen family, that's not only in Minnesota, but we also now have a, a place in Idaho and we're looking at Tennessee and other states because we are ecumenical, we are wide reaching. Ecumenical is a word that is often applied to churches. Uh, it talks about unity. It talks about coming together. It's, it's a word that reminds us that, yeah, there might be differences in the way we serve, the way we view different things, but there's also a commonness because together we are all people who are living on this earth and together we do intend to serve and to, to make our mark in the world and that we can do that in many ways together. And so ecumenical is a wonderful word. I think it's a word that denotes gathering, welcoming. It's, it's, if I'm going to demonstrate ecumen, I would demonstrate with open arms. Because to me, ecumen is a gathering word. Ecumenical, gathering people together for a common cause, a common good, and uh, celebrating who we are as people living on this earth. And so it doesn't really matter your denomination. What does matter is that we as people celebrate one another, that we, have, we uphold the dignity of one another, and we see the beauty and the value in each other. And it's not so much denominations, but it also looks at skin color, and it looks at cultures, and it looks at age. It looks at all different kinds of things and says, you are still a person of value and of worth. And because of that, here at Ecumen Detroit Lakes, we gather people together with open arms to minister to them, to live with them, to celebrate them, to strengthen them. And one way we do that, only one way we do that, is here in this chapel. Very oftentimes we gather for a worship. And there we might, it might be a Catholic mass. It might be a Protestant service. It might be a, a sing-along. It might be a time of reflection and a prayer. It might be when the veterans gather to give honor to one another. There's many different ways that we gather here at Emmanuel. So in the chapel, uh, as in many chapels and many churches around the world, there are stained glass windows and stained glass windows are only, again, one way to enhance a worship, to enhance a sacred space, to cre help create a sacred space. And sacred is, is holy, is set apart, just for a time uh, of, of getting out of the, the world and the challenges that it may hold, out of the struggles that may come your way, and a safe place where you can find a haven, a rest to, to reflect, to connect, uh, to to know that you are a person of value and a person of worth. That's what I think a sacred, a holy space is. And here at Emmanuel in the chapel, we want to continue to do that for those who live here. Now, we have a, an ongoing program uh, of raising monies to, de to design and to create and to have stained glass windows in these three windows. Now, the person who is designed the windows for us. His name is Rob Larson. He lives in the community. And his passion is creating and making stained glass windows. So I offered to him, come up with an idea, a way that we can, not with words, but with pictures, denote faith, hope, and love. 
because I believe faith, hope, and love can be found in all denominations. And even uh, people outside the church still look for faith, hope, and love even in their lives. So it is one of those ecumenical, those uh, gathering, those all-encompassing themes of life. And so for faith, we have this first picture, and uh, I thought his idea was wonderful because you're going to see uh, from frame to frame, you're going to see a nest. And the nest, and of course Emmanuel here, ecumen is, is derivative too of a Greek word that means home. And a, a nest is a home. Many times we talk about our little nest. And so here is the first panel, and this is the panel of faith. And you see that there is a nest here, and this nest is empty. So it is waiting to be filled. And if you think about yourself and in your faith journey, you are on your journey looking forward to be filled with, with knowledge, with blessings, with revealings, with uh, all that life has. So here we have an empty nest, and there is uh, green reeds here, uh, milk pods, uh, sumac, and just, just as a side note, these are colored in to kind of lift up the design, but these are not the colors that are going to be the stained glass. It's just kind of to show off the different, the different seasons right now. So the, the coloring will be more united as the stained glass is actually created. But for right now, we'll just look at the sumac, the fall colors, and, the, and this, this is not uh, the, corn, the maize corn. <laughs> this is supposed to be milkweed, and we have this empty nest. So that's the first panel, the panel of faith. And we have the butterfly, which is oftentimes symbolized as new life. You know, that evolving, growing from the little caterpillar that gets into the cocoon, that bursts into new life. So we have resurrection, we have renewing, we have creating. So many things go with the butterfly. So we have the butterfly, and we have uh, the beauty of the sumac and the milkweed, and then we have this nest, this nest of opportunity. So then we go to this panel, and here we have the brightness uh, of strength. There's a strength that comes with, with a nest now that has eggs in it. Yes, it has eggs in it. And so now we have this promise. Faith, this is hope. This is hope realized right here. The robins will be on this uh, window, as well as dragonflies. And there will be a luminous kind of glass, I am told. And so we have faith and hope. Hope coming now in the nest with these beautiful little eggs. And then when we go to the third panel, now we have life. Life in those, uh, the eggs have broken and life has sprung forth. And here's the nest creating this little safe haven as they become aware of their surroundings. And as they look at their surroundings, life is all about, we've got the red-winged blackbirds, we've got more dragonflies, we have a turtle. And I know I have a wonderful book about a turtle. Uh, there is a culture that believes, of course, that the earth is held on the back of the turtle, and the turtle is the beginning of all life. So we've got this cute little turtle down here as well. And then the different colors of the flowers and the, and the cattails. So what a wonderful way to, to show to us faith, hope, and love. Loving of the life of the blue heron, who stands for that as well. And so we've got this wonderful picture uh, of life, of hope, of faith, of love, in a, in a very beautiful abstract way and yet concrete. Now these windows are going to be put together and created uh, this year. And we are accepting, continuing to accept donations for the, these panels that will be made. And if you're interested in being a part of the stained glass windows that are going to be in this sacred and holy space that continues to enhance and welcome and gather all in. Uh, just let us know. Uh, you may come and look at them any time. They're going to be up on the windows for a while. Uh, just want to know this opportunity. Uh, if you want to be a part of our ecumenical work here at Ecumen Detroit Lakes, and specifically here in the Emanuel Chapel. So this is Vicki over at Ecumen Detroit Lakes.
serving the people here that live at the Lamplighter Manor, the Emanuel Nursing Home, the Madison Apartments, the Cottage, and our daycare as well. We are welcoming and gathering. We are ecumenical, and here at Ecumen Detroit Lakes, we welcome you. This is Vicki wishing you a great day.